Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Sheldon Moon. Today we're going to talk about Royal Revelation, how legal loophole could have led to Anne becoming queen. Princess Anne celebrated her 69th birthday last month and the hard-working royal is known for keeping a low-key profile and issuing royal titles for her family. However, when an important piece of royal legislation passed in 2013, it presented an unusual opportunity for Princess Anne to become closer to being queen herself one day. The Succession to the Throne Act 2013 changed several aspects of the monarchy, including male preference. <laughs> that rule meant that the crown passed to male heirs first despite the order of birth. However, with the passing of the 2013 Act, female heirs took their place in the line of succession in order of birth, meaning that Princess Charlotte now takes her place before younger brother Prince Louis. The UK needed to seek the agreement of all the Commonwealth realms in order to pass the Act. Writing in the Modern Law Review in 2013, Professor Neil Popworth explained, it could have created the risk that some of the realms would have chosen not to follow the UK's lead, with the result that their own laws relating to the succession may have become different to those in the UK. Thus, for example, if a realm had decided not to dispense with male preference, the heirs to its throne may at some point in the future have been a different person to the heirs to the UK throne. In this example, Prince Louis would have taken preference over his older sister, Princess Charlotte, in the Commonwealth realm, in contrast to the UK. The monarch for the United Kingdom is also the monarch in the Commonwealth realms. So, for example, in Australia, the Queen is Queen of Australia. However, the Commonwealth realms may not have had consented to a particular part of the 2013 Act that could have potentially seen Princess Anne ascend to the throne. The 2013 Act ended male preference, however, it did not apply retrospectively. It is the rule that means Princess Anne's position in the line of succession did not change. However, there was an opportunity for any of the realms to refuse this rule. Professor Popworth writes, Of course, had the UK and other Commonwealth realms wanted to, they could have provided that the new rule should apply from an earlier date. If any of the realms had done so, it would have meant that Princess Anne, the Princess Royal, would have been elevated above her younger brother and her own offspring would also have seen a correspondent rise in their position in the line of succession. It would mean that Anne would take the position in succession that currently belongs to Prince Andrew at number 8, behind new baby, new royal baby Archie. Wow, interesting rule. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button, leave your comments below, and please don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate your support. 